Hello? Good morning. This is Joe. Oh, Joe, there you are. Seth Aronson. Yeah, what's up? I'm just trying to figure out where Audrey's, Audrey's Astros went. Who, who am I speaking with? Seth Aronson. Oh, Seth. Yeah. How you been, buddy? You making yeah. jokes? You making jokes? I gave you the wrong information the last time I talked to you. Did you? That unit did not, did not sell. So... As a result, everything in the unit, we can't even go through it, got trashed. And you... It got it, hauled away. And, and you... Sp I shouldn't say dumped. It got hauled away by a vendor. But you, you, you said you were... Your policy, you said, was that a personal item like Audrey's ashes, you would have been able to retrieve that. No, but it didn't sell, so... We didn't have a bidder. Uh huh. So it was, it, on a no bid, it's deemed as trash. We can't even go in there. They get a vendor to come in and empty out the units that we did not get any bids on. I, it, yes, but you knew that Audrey's asses were in there, so you were supposed yeah, to coordinate with that vendor to make sure that that was saved. I, I could not go into the unit. No, I get that, Joe. You've said it over and over again, Joe. I get you were in the military and you're helping the people who told your living employee to hide in the dark while I called for help, Joe. But I want Audrey's ashes back. I, I don't have an answer for you, Seth. I did what I could for you. You didn't, though. You said you would make sure that you you make sure that the vendor say it, salvage the very specific thing that was holding her asses, Joe. Seth, I couldn't do anything. I did everything I could for you. I could not save the ashes. You told me the company I policy is to save a personal belonging like that, and the fact that you're now telling me you threw it away. Somebody that buys the somebody that buys the unit, yes. Tell them, but it was a no bid, so we didn't have a bidder. Gotcha. So, so that's your loophole. How you got to throw away Audrey's ashes? It's not my loophole. It's company policy. To throw away no ashes of a human being instead of giving them back to their rightful owner. That's your policy now. It's I the opposite of what you told me your policy was, Joe. Seth, I apologize. That doesn't work, Joe. I don't know how many times you want me okay. To you. you know what? Don't. Hey, I get a. I get a better. I get a better question. The the girl who lives upstairs, the living employee. What's her name? No, they're not with the company anymore. No way. Did they get fired for not calling the police for me? Uh, no, they had quit the company a long time before that happened. No. The people who were living upstairs on July 6th. They're still living up there. They're still living up there, but they're not part of the company anymore. They're renting the apartment now. So why do they enforce your rules? Why would... The, the woman who lives upstairs, why would she enforce your rules about the... the a shopping cart, say, if she was not working for you? Regularly, yes, yeah, she fucked with me I regularly. Know, I know, I, I know, I talked personally about that shopping cart. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about you, Joe. I'm talking about why she hid. Because you know what's funny is her husband testified that she does work for you on the stand at my preliminary hearing. At the time. Huh? At the time, as far as I know, at the time she wasn't with the company anymore. I could be mistaken on the date. So they're attack no, dog. So, so the dogs that that. She, she quit, and you guys just let her keep living there. That's 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 your story now. What? I mean, why would why would her husband testify that he? Between her and the company. Yeah, but why would why would her husband testify that she did work for you? And why would she hide in the dark while I screamed for help? I can't remember. No, of course not. And and the dogs. Are they your dogs or her dogs? That's. They're his dogs. They're 
his dogs. Okay, and and but they but they work. But they basically they're they're stuck out in that. They're they're they work for the company. The dogs do because they're a, they're guard dogs that are left in a kennel outside that bark when anyone tries to get in. That's just extra security that you're not paying for. I, I can't answer that. I, they're just I accidentally kenneled at your location. I'm sorry. Are they accidentally kenneled at your location, or are they there as protection for the location? I don't know. That's between them and the company. Yeah. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, but they're but they're there every night. The apartment. They live there. The dogs do. They're here on site. Yes. Yeah. Except for the night that I was robbed. I have no idea about that, sir. They were removed, Joe. I really don't know, sir. After I went to sleep, they were removed. And you know what? Luis told the cops that I was crazy to ask the question, hey, why aren't the dogs here? They were here when I went to sleep, but now that it's two in the morning and I've been drugged and robbed and beaten by police, the dogs are nowhere in sight and Luis is pretending like they're not supposed to even be there. But thank you, Joe, for confirming that, yeah, the dogs are part of the fucking landscape there every night except the night I was robbed. Thank you, Joe. All I can tell you is it belongs to Luis. Yeah. Whether they were here that night or not, I don't but they're know. There, but they're there every day. They're there every day. Correct. They live there. The dogs. Yes. Thank yes. you, Joe. Man, thank you. So this is great. You're welcome, sir. You have a great day, Joe. And again, I forgive you for helping my daughter's rapists, the people that have been torturing me all these years. And I get you are in the military, so you have to do what they tell you. But motherfucker, they threw away her asses, Joe. And they made you lie to me about it. Aren't you glad you served this country for that? I told you what I thought at the time, and then now. You seem very unconcerned that my soulmate's ashes were dumped in a dumpster. Though, you seem unconcerned. I understand your concern, yes, sir. All right, you have a good day, Joe.